Greetings and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Run and today we're playing as Maggie. We have another special daily on our hands here and I'm not so stoked for this one. Uh, usually I do mention that dailies can be either unique, they can be special, they can have some funny teams surrounding them, but this particular one, I, I, I don't know what it is. It's just a horrible concept of any... I think it makes... I think I've said this before, but it really does make everything that goes for dailies just stand on its head. Uh, so not only do they start out with a blank card as your active item, which is pretty much the number one most, I wouldn't say hated item, but I would say disliked item, because you know that as soon as you find it, it the, the hunt is on, you need to find that Yara rune, and then of course you can break the game that way. Uh, but maybe, because you get that reward in some sense, you also get something very annoying, and that is the mom's toenail, and that's a trinket, uh, and you can drop it in this particular daily, and that's such a bummer, because it's one of those trinkets that you would never ordinarily pick up because of its detrimental effect and it just in case you don't know what it does it just makes it so the mom's foot stomps around the room randomly or at least i think it's randomly at random positions and it also has a chance to hit you as well and of course this is extremely bad in dailies because that damage penalty is just gonna stack up and it does do a full heart of damage and not only just a half so you're kind of stuck in a position where there's nothing much you can do about it you just have to accept that you're gonna get hit a few times and you can never really be at low health and you can't really have that risky play thankfully at least in that regard we are we do have enough health so we can actually sustain ourselves even if it does hit us maybe once or twice uh, there is it is dodgeable in some sense because you can see the shadow creeping up on you and then of course the mom's foot drops but the problem is that you always have to be vigilant about it there's no not a moment that you can just say okay this is just a random shadow i don't really have to focus and for that reason what what happened to me at least uh, is i tried to be very wary of of the shadows and whenever i saw a shadow i immediately twitched and ran in the other direction and of course in that sense uh, that's not too good as well because i think i was kind of panicking in some situations and i maybe mi misconstrued some other shadows which i felt like were the mom's foot shadows uh, something else and then I just ran directly into mom's foot and that's such a bummer but I guess it also does teach you or at least it makes you play in a bit of a different way, in a much more scaredy cat way. Uh, and for that reason, I did take a lot of damage, which could have been easily avoided if I just weren't too afraid of, of my own shadow, I guess, in this sense. And that, that's that's a saying that actually is very uh, fitting, at least in this scenario. But uh, besides that, and besides some of the crazy starting items that we got, uh, maybe another thing that really threw me off is now in Afterbird Plus, whenever you start out as Maggie, you have an, un an unidentified pill, which is always a speed up pill. And what what is great about it is that essentially it dilutes the item pool, not, doesn't dilute it, it just adds a good pill to the rotation and that makes Maggie for a bit of a better character than what she already was. Uh, but in this particular case, what I've decided to do, or at least what I got used to doing, is as soon as I enter uh, the run, I use it. I used my pill immediately, because you want to get that speed boost as fast as possible, just so you can traverse the floor as fast as possible, and of course have some some of that dodging potential. And I got so used to doing this, that whenever I see Maggie, the first thing I do, without without even seeing what's going on, I just press Q uh, to, to, to pop that pill and hopefully get that boost upgrade. But in this particular case, because this was a special daily, uh, we actually didn't start out with a pill, we also had it, but we started out with a cart, and I think it was a high priestess. So what ended up happening is instead of me getting the speed up pill which I thought was was gonna happen uh, I got a mom's food on my face just just as a hello to do the start of the run and it's such a bummer because I feel like it was really unwarranted. I, I know it's my fault, obviously I could have waited for two seconds to see if anything is different or unusual, but, but at the same time, you know, it's muscle memory and you really can't get rid of that. Even if you know that you shouldn't do some things, sometimes you just end up doing them anyway. You don't really expect a special daily on the second of the month, and even if it was, you don't expect it to replace your uh, pill with, with a card which usually just never occurs. There's really no not benefit to not using your pill as fast as possible, so for that reason, I felt like I was punished even a bit more than I maybe should have been, but that's really not nor here nor there. Uh, besides that, this run was actually pretty decent in all regards. I mean, it was a very weak run and a very annoying one, just because I, I did take a lot of unnecessary damage. And we also got that experimental treatment pill, which put our tear delay at 15 instead of 10, so that was kind of a bummer. But at least our damage was pretty decent, and the most decent, I mean, the most... I have a tribute to that, uh, is Cricket's Head, which is an item that I found pretty early on, because I did do some of the ballsy plays uh, to get into the boss trap room, and thankfully one of the golden chests did contain the keys to the kingdom, so to say. And later on we also got some damaging items like Abaddon, we got uh, the Sin Robes, uh, and we also got uh, something else, the Pentagram, I think. And all of those did, of course, contribute to it. Thankfully, later on we also did get Torn Photos, so our tier delay wasn't too, too trash, but I still wasn't really able to 
focus my tears to deal uh, to too significant amount of damage. At least, or at least one decision that I make made, which I felt like was the right one. I dropped my blank card, and that is something that you never really want to do on dailies, just because of the potential and just really how many things you can do with that item. And I swapped it for for the blue candle, and I feel like the candles are being a bit misrepresented in the whole scheme of things, just because. They used to be very good, and of course, with many new spacebar items that, that have arrived in the game, they've w gotten on the wayside, and a lot of people don't really respect them like they used to, but bo both the red candle and the blue candle are spectacular items. They actually deal so much damage, and not only that, they're very defensively useful as well, because they kill or destroy projectiles as you as, as, as they head into you, and what you can do with that, of course, you can time it well and then do a lot of damage while also kind of staying safe. And for that reason, I felt like the blue candle is gonna be a much better get for us. Since our tear delay was l l ridiculously high, I really couldn't manage my tears to shoot at the enemies, and I still wanted to do boss rush and harsh, so for that reason I decided I'm gonna stick with the blue candle, I'll hope to aim well, and I'll try to kill as many bosses as fast as possible. That combined with the fact that we were pretty fast in finding the boss trap room, I mean not the boss trap room, but also the boss trap room, but the boss room on the womb 1 and the womb 2 floors relatively quickly, so the floors weren't too big, uh, and we also did some help. So we got lucky in that regard, but we also made some strategical decisions, which I felt both enhanced uh, our luck, but also made, made us just a little bit stronger. And from this point on, it's really just smooth sailing, it just trying our best not to take too much damage, but obviously I wouldn't be too upset even if it did, just because of the nature of the run. I know a lot of people who play this daily didn't really end up having a really good score, and I was actually really surprised by just how highly I ranked, considering that I was almost 10,000 points behind in the scheme of things. And But the thing is, of course, a lot of people just didn't play the daily, because it's such a stupid concept, uh, but on the other side, even the people who played the daily maybe didn't try as hard, just obviously you're thrown off by the, all this item compass that you have at the start, that there's really nothing, um, there, there's no there's no strategy in that sense, because now suddenly you have everything that you need, but you really need to focus on other things, and of course damage penalty is gonna be high, uh, just because of mom's toenails, so really, what else is, is there that you can do? But still, considering all of that, uh, I still managed to get something like 40,000 points in the end, which I would consider low. I would say maybe 45, 46,000 is okay, decent, and then anything above that is already high, but 40,000 is definitely low, so for me to still rank in the top 50, or maybe even in the top 20, when I actually finish the daily, uh, with that abysmal score it was surprising, and I, I guess that is a testament just to how bad this run was, and that is always good to know. Even if you do badly, there's no excuse for you to not end the daily, because sure, you know, and a lot of other people might have had a better daily, they might have played better, they might end up having a lower damage penalty, and they just and might end up ranking well, but there's always that little tiny chance that everyone struggled just the same way as you did, and that means that you're actually not that far behind as you've thought. The reverse also happens sometimes, where you maybe feel like you've been doing a lot better uh, than most other people did, but then you'll realize that you're actually pretty bad and you still have a lower score, at least in relative to other players. Uh, so, but but there, there's both sides of the equation, but this particular daily I feel definitely was a bit on the harder side. And everyone who did get to the end, especially if you did do boss rush and harsh, uh, you're warranted to rank pretty well. Uh, I, I mean, there's always things that you can do to, to kind of increase your score or maybe reduce, or, or I would say reduce uh, you, the reduction that you're gonna get from the score, mainly damage penalty, obviously, but sometimes a daily is just gonna come, it's gonna kick your ass and there's nothing you can do about it, uh, and the, the most you can do is just hope that it kicked other people's ass as well. And it's always exciting because, to me, whenever I finish a bad daily, even if other people did better, there's always that sense of pride. I got to the end, some people quit at the start because they were like, I'm not playing this one. So there's always that bragging right that at least, if not anything else, I managed to get to the end. I managed to beat Boss Rush, I managed to beat Harsh, and I'm now sitting in a relatively close spot, and of course I'm hoping that the next one will be a lot better. Uh, but definitely the MVP of this particular run was the Blue Candle, just for its offensive punch, and you can see it destroying some tears here as well. The damage penalty was high, all in all, but hey, what can you do? Uh, uh, and with it, uh, with it arrive at the end, and that's that's always exciting. It wasn't a really strategical. I mean, it was in some sense, but it really wasn't too deep of a daily. It was just mainly annoying to play. 
And besides that, even the items that we've gotten really didn't warrant any depth, except maybe use them at the opportune moments or maybe try to aim uh, our blue candle the best that we possibly can. But at least, at least we did finish. And I've said this a few times now, but uh, I, I can't say how excited I am to get to the end of this daily, if not for any other reason, just because of how annoying it was. And it's always nice to end that misery early. I could have explored the rest of the chest, maybe try to get a few more points. I could have ranked maybe two ranks better or whatever, but I just figured I'm not gonna risk it because every time I go back, to try and explore more items or more rooms, I end up paying the price. I end up taking more damage than the points I get and it's usually not a good deal. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this one guys and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>